hello guys welcome to another tutorial video where today we take you through how you install mongodb server on your windows 10 or windows 11 pc so right here on my pc i'm going to open my favorite browser so on your favorite browser you are going to search for mongo mongodb download So when it says for MongoDB download, in the first tab we are going to see the first link that appears is MongoDB community server download. And the URL is mongodb.com slash try slash download slash community. So I'm going to click on that. So it's going to take us to the MongoDB server download. So right here you can see we have MongoDB community server. So we are going to download the MongoDB community server. So if you scroll down here, there's nothing here for you. All you have to do is select package. So under the MongoDB community server, you click on select package. It will give you the download options here. So right here we have the version. So at the time of recording this video, the current version of MongoDB is 7.0.5. At the time of you watching this video, the version might be different. That's still not the problem. It will still work if you follow the instructions exactly. So, you also can change the version if you click on the drop down. We also have some other versions here as well. In case if you want to download any of these other versions, you can do that as well. But in this video, I'm going to download the current version, which is 7.0.5. At the time of recording this video, then we also have the platform windows so we are using windows so i'm going to keep the windows there you also have the package now you have the option to download the zip you also have the option to download the msi so we are going to download the msi which is easier to install so i'm going to click on download so right here my download is starting so as you can see the size of it is 572 megabytes depending on the time of this video okay so my download is done so right here i'm going to have my download here i'm going to double click on it it's going to launch my installation pop up here so you can see this welcome to the mobile db 7.05 so I'm going to click on the next. We also have the terms and condition, license terms and condition. So we are going to check this accept license terms and agreement. We are going to next. Now here we have uh choose the setup type that best suits your needs. We have the complete, we have the custom. Now under the complete, all program features will be installed. It requires the most this space. Also, the custom allow users to choose which program features will be installed and where they will be installed in commander for advice we said so we also have here the mongo shell must be installed separately for windows installation so we have the mongo shell here so if you look at here we have the download now if you want to download the mongo shell so if you click on this it's going to load and open the mongo shell package for you where you can also install but right now we are going to finish installing the MongoDB server. Then we'll come back to the Mongo shell. So right here, I'm coming back here. So I recommend you to choose the complete package here. So I'm going to click on the complete. Now, if you click on the complete, you also have install MongoDB as service. So this is when, whenever you own your PC, the MongoDB is going to run as a service on your network, which is completely fine. There's nothing wrong with that. So we are going to leave the default selection there. Here we have the directory. We have the data directory and the log directory. So you can see the data directory can be found in your program files, MongoDB server 7.0 and data. Then your log directory is also going to be found in program files, MongoDB server 7.0 the log so this is where these two details will be located so we are going to leave it like that we'll go to next now here we have the 
MongoDB Compass. So the MongoDB Compass is a UI which allows you to go directly use your MongoDB database here. So we are going to install the MongoDB Compass. So you have to make sure this is checked. If this is not checked, make sure this is checked. Install MongoDB Compass right here. This box is checked. Then you are going to click on next this is ready to install no db so i'm going to click on install so this is going to load the status a little bit so this is waiting while this is store the no db compass for us Okay, so we can see MongoDB Compass is being installed to launch once it's done. So we are still waiting for it. So, you can see we have our MongoDB Compass. So we are going to click on Finish. So here we have our MongoDB Compass. So right here you can see we have the MongoDB UR. So this is the UR that allows us to connect to our MongoDB database. This is the default MongoDB UR. It says MongoDB that's localhost 27017. So this we are going to keep the string here. Yeah? So we are going to use this. So I want to click on connect here. Yeah? Or we can have a new connection at this side. But we are going to click on connect right here. Now the moment you click on connect, you can see our MongoDB database is connected. You can see some default database in here. We have the admin. We have the admin database. We have the config. We have the local here. Now here we also have the queries section because we don't have any queries in here yet. So now I can also decide to add a new database here. So maybe I can say my database name is database i can also add a collection maybe i can say collection yes yeah, as well as well now we also have this time series here so this time series collections store sequence of measurement of my period of time but right now we just want the collection here so we are going to ignore that so i'm just going to create database so you can see we have our new database created database with a collection in it called collection so now we also we can add a new data we can either be in json or csv file or we can insert a document right here so that's perfectly working now so this is our so okay let's add a uh, data here see so let's say i can say okay let me just insert this data so as you can see we have a new data inserted successfully to our mongodb compass which means our mongodb compass is also working here as well so now when i come to my cmd i come to my cmd command prompt right here copy my command prompt so here I'm going to type Mongo SH. Okay, so you can see Mongo SH is now recognized as a tenor or external command operable program or batch file. Now remember when we're installing our MongoDB server, we click on the link that took us to our MongoDB shell page where i said you will come back to download it so that's because we don't have the mongodb shell installed so when you download the mongodb server community version it doesn't come with the mongodb shell so you have to install it again manually so we are going to come here again once again because we have the current version at the time of this video 2.1.1 also have the platform windows make sure this is selected as well 10 plus which means 11 which will still be the same process so with this we also have the zip package here if you click you also have the msi here but with the shell i recommend the zip 
So when we store the compass, we install using the MSI. So with the shell, I recommend installing using the zip. So we are going to download the zip. So I'm going to click on download. So we have, I'm going to be downloading. So I think that's finished downloading. So first I'm going to go to my folder. I'm going to go to my local disk. So inside my local disk, I'm going to my program files. So in my program files, we are going to look for MongoDB. So this is my MongoDB folder here. So I'm going to click on the MongoDB. So inside the MongoDB file, I have my server right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the zip file that I just downloaded and my downloads. So I have it here, Mongo SH, Mongo SH. So I'm going to right click, then I'm going to extract. So we have extract files, we have extract here, extract to. So I'm going to click on the extract to. Okay, extract to just extracted here. So we are going to extract files. Okay, so. The extract files will allow you to select which location you want to extract to. So I'm going to select what I want to extract to. So I'm going to my this PC. I'll go to my local disk. Then my local disk. I'm going to program files. Then inside my program files, I'm going to MongoDB folder. Then I'm going to extract it right there. So another way we can also do is after we extract it here, we can just copy, we can just open this and copy. Then we'll come here and paste it right here. So after pasting it here, if you click on it here, we can have the bin. Now inside the bin, we can also have, you can see our Mongo SH exit here. So that's the, so I'm going to click inside the bin. So I'm going to click here. So I'm going to copy this part. So I'm going to my search. I'm also going to search for environment variables. So you can see we have something called edit the system environment variable so i'm going to open that so we are going to click on the environment variables right here now right under the system variable section i'm going to click on path then i'm going to click on new okay i'm going to click on edit sorry I'm going to click on edit then we are going to click on new then we are going to paste the link that we just copied there so i'm going to click on ok i'm also going to click on ok then ok so remember we copied the link right here you just click on the top anywhere on the top it's going to highlight the link for where you pasted your mobile DB that we've extracted there so that's where i got the link so we go to search we search for environment variables which is ID system environment variables. When we come here, we went to environment variables, we went to path, and we go to edit, then we go to new, then we paste whatever path we have there. So that's it. We have already pasted it. So I'm just going to ignore. So after we pasted it, we go into OK, then OK again. So that's it again. So now we are going back to our terminal. So we are going to type once again. Mongo SH. Now this is also saying Mongo DB store record now it has internal external file. So when it happens like that, what we are going to do is we are going to either close this and open again or you are going to restart your PC. So right here I'm going to close the command prompt. Then open command prompt again. So open again. Then I'm going to type again Mongo. SH 
then I'm going to type. So guys, you can see this is working. So when it's happening like that, you just have to close the Mongo. You just have to show you just have to close the command prompt, open it again, try it again. If you try it, it still doesn't work. You just have to restart the PC. So that's because it has probably not uh, added same the you path to your system correctly. So either you restart it again, then to come. So you can see we have the Mongo DB that we installed here, 7.0.5. We also have the Mongo's 2.1.12 we just installed here. So, so for example, if I type help, you can see some execution that we have here. So you can see everything is working now. We have our Mongo DB compass working. We also have our MongoDB shell working as well. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click on the subscribe button. If you have any question, you can also drop it on the comment section and I also attend to you. So this is how we install MongoDB on our Windows 10 PC. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video, guys.